Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, definitely. Yes. Would the, best pro so, would the best protocol be for you to be followed by the doctor up there and then be placed in the research study? So most of our research studies at least want our doctors to see you once. Um, that way they can confirm the diagnosis again because for a lot of these studies, they want the diagnosis to come from the enrolling center. So what we do is, hey, come and see, come and see one of our doctors once. We'll definitely confirm your diagnosis. Then you go back and see your local pulmonologist. Is <coughs> Dr. North accepting patients? He is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all of our doctors are accepting patients. And he would be, obviously, the one that people with more complex cases it seems to me like the majority of your fibrosis studies are IPF, am I correct? Right now they are because that's his specialty. They are, yeah. Are all of these studies at UVA in Charlottesville? Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are all UVA. So that's where I know for people who, and right, transportation, you've got oxygen, you've got to be thinking about that, right? Um, it can, it can definitely be a factor for people who are traveling a distance. Um, that's why a lot of these trials will at least pay for your you know, travel costs and um, give you, you know, a little bit of compensation for the amount of hours that you're taking out of your day. But yeah, it's like if, if you don't have a substantial amount of time, then that would be a reason to say, you know what, not for me. Any other question? Yes. yes. How could I volunteer for this study here? Absolutely. If you give me your information, okay. um, yeah, I'll have Rose Love give you a call. Well, thank you. Definitely. Um, yeah, she'll ask you. She'll call you and say, all right, let's go through kind of some preliminary you know, criteria um, for that study. And I mean, for those of you who you'll really enjoy Dr. Shen, he's, he's fun. Any other questions? Yes. Uh, what happens to uh, study participants that are, are ben that benefit from the experimental drug, and then due to the high incident of failure, they cancel the program? Do they still provide that person with the experimental drug, or just say yeah. tough luck? Yeah, unfortunately, they don't. And I think that was what this one woman who was in the MS study was like. Okay, now it's this waiting period. I think it's probably worked for me because I've been doing well. I've been in this study long enough to feel a difference in my symptoms. But if the drug doesn't get FDA approved, it doesn't get FDA approved. And then, yeah, unfortunately, there isn't. Which is why that genetic research is so important because over the years, they're going to start to learn, okay, this drug works in this subset of people. It doesn't work in 75% of people, but at least 25% of people, it does work. Yeah. But it's just, it's, it's time. Yeah. And, it, and it is literally, you have to have those volumes and volumes and volumes of data um, and samples in order to be able to make those determinations. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? Okay, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.